Hello and welcome you beautiful party people. My name is Gatorbite and today we're going to go over how you should prep and what you should bring for DEF CON 30. So to get started, what's the minimum that you should bring in my opinion is a laptop, cell phone, and or tablet, an external battery pack, and a small surge protector. I absolutely think you should be bringing a laptop to the conference so then you can participate in the different contests that are going on, the workshops and such, but there's a way to prep for that. And how you go through and do that is by buying yourself an inexpensive SSD or a solid state drive. You remove your personal drive to make sure that stays at home where it's safe. And then you plug in the new drive and you just load up an operating system that you're going to use at the conference. Um, I also suggest bringing a cell phone. Depending on your threat model, you may want to go through and back up your phone and then wipe it. When we're talking about backing things up, uh, one of the things I go through and suggest is you have these type of thumb drives that are both like USB-C and or Lightning. You can back up your photos, you can back up your documents, and it goes all onto the thumb drive, which works out great. If you do a factory reset then, you can go through and make sure that you don't sign into your personal accounts and that way, if somebody's calling you, it's just going to be a number popping up versus a actual name. So depending on your risk model, that may or may not be necessary, but that's an easy way to use your current phone, but not have bad operational security or OPSEC. Next, depending on what villages that you want to go through and work with, some have their own gear that you can borrow and use the one year at the conference, which is one of the amazing parts about DEF CON. Or if you want to be able to do that more heavily, uh, i.e. the soldering village, SSV or the hardware hacking village. Uh, if you're going to be focusing on that area, you might want to go through and bring your own soldering iron, uh, a, some solder, uh, a third hand or like a, a gripper for whatever you're working on, magnifying glass and or a soldering mat. If lockpicking is more your jam, obviously there's going to be a bunch of lockpicks that you can go through and use uh, at the conference itself and plenty of locks that you can go through and pop as well, but you could bring your own lockpick kit and or bump keys. If you're more into the Wi-Fi hacking and the different radio frequencies, you'll definitely want to check out the uh, radio frequency village, the RF village. So Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, uh, ham, you name it, every, a little bit of everything is in there, which is awesome. So bring your alpha card, your RTL, SDR, HackRF, etc. And if you don't have any of this gear and you want to pick it up, there are vendors there that you can actually buy it from, which is awesome. So how to go through and prep for your gear? Yeah, definitely back up your current data on your laptop. Wipe the hard drive or buy an SSD. They're not super expensive at this point. So like 25 bucks will get you a 250 gig. If you have the 100 bucks to spend, you can get a terabyte typically. So whether you need to go through and load up an operating system and or VMs, or if you just wanna do one dedicated operating system, this is a, a solid, easy plan to get yourself up and running. And you're not losing your data or potentially exposing your personal data and what you've connected to on your device. So this doesn't take very long to reinstall an operating system on a brand new disk. I would go through and do so. Uh, this list is incomplete because there are so many different options that you can go through and do. Uh, you could do Kali, you could do Pentu, Fedora Security Spin. You could go through, if you're more of the Arch, there's Black Arch. If you're on the Windows side of the house, Windows 10. If you have a newer laptop, you could do Windows 11. Uh, Windows 7, not so much anymore. And then there's uh, other spins when it comes to offensive and defensive spins of Windows. You can actually get these scripts, like this one from uh, Commando VM from FireEye. So typically you can either do this in prep before you go to Vegas, or you can do this the first night that you're in Vegas. Flash a operating system onto a thumb drive and you should be good to go. I usually like to bring a couple with me just in case somebody in my hacker space needs to go through wipe format and reinstall because for whatever challenge they need a the different operating system than what they installed. I'd also s suggest setting up a VPN and there are lots of different options out there. I personally use a digital ocean droplet that I run the NOR at the NYR uh, script to go through and create. There's actually a blog post about it here on the Holon Network site, so you can check that out. Again, if you want a quick video on that, let me know. I make sure whenever I'm out and about, I'm connecting to that VPN, so then my traffic is encrypted from me to the digital ocean droplet. So if I jump on the, the secured DEF CON Wi-Fi, I can still have connectivity online, but I'm not getting snooped on constantly. There are typically two different Wi-Fi networks at DEF CON. To, 
There's a lot of them, but there are two official. One, you have to go through and set up a cert to make sure that you can actually use it and that you're secure online. Make sure to follow the instructions. They've got instructions for every single operating system. Or you can also do the Wild Wild West uh, unsecured Wi-Fi network where anything goes. So if you're feeling brave and you want to get hacked or you want to try to hack somebody else, that's the uh, Wi-Fi network to join is the unsecured. All right, the last night, I would go through and suggest going through and uh, backing up the important information from that SSD and or put it onto a thumb drive and then you can wipe the drive again if you're paranoid about it. Otherwise, you can also unplug that uh, SSD and then save it for next year or next time that you go to an InfoSec conference to participate in a CTF. So on the cell phone, start at the con, back that data up. Again, you can get a thumb drive like this that we talked about before. It makes it super simple and factory reset the device. External battery packs are a lifesaver. Cell phone connectivity in this new building, I have no idea with the Caesars form, how that's gonna go. In the past, I know that it has been challenging because there's been just so many people trying to get connectivity. And if you're trying to buy different services online, this gets a little bit tricky because trying to do that anonymously has gotten very hard over the years. In the past, I'd go through and suggest the vanilla one. Uh, there is another type of card now that I will link in the description. That is a green card that uh, you can go through. It's green in color and it's an Amazon Express card. So I'll make sure to put in the comments below on which one that works. For me, I go through and if I'm trying to buy something online anonymously, I'd go pay cash for that at like a Walmart, Walgreens, whatever else. So you load it up, it charges you a couple bucks for it. But then for the most part, that goes through pretty well. You can use privacy.com, not sponsored, but does actually work to where you can link your real name and your bank account to privacy.com. They'll actually go through and mask whoever you're trying to buy and create a temporary credit card for you to do a purchase, whether that's a one-time purchase or a reoccurring purchase. And then, so privacy.com knows your name and your billing information, but the end um, person that you're buying stuff from doesn't know that. So that's just a few quick tips and trips in my opinion. This is what's worked well for me for the last 12 years of going to DEF CON. I hope you found this helpful. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to a like and subscribe because I'm just getting this channel started. Thanks, and I hope to see you at DEF CON. And make sure to go love your hacker family.